Hi there, I'm Dr. Gary Simmons of Carilion Clinic Neurosurgery, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about surgery for spondylolisthesis. Now, you may remember we talked about spondylolisthesis in another episode, and what we said was it is a condition where one vertebrae slips forward upon another, and that can cause a significant amount of problems. It can cause a lot of pain, both in the back and in the nerves, that run out of the sides of the vertebral column, out through little holes. Well, spondylolisthesis, or one vertebrae slipping on another, can squish those nerves and cause a terrible amount of nerve pain. A lot of times, spondylolisthesis causes no problems, but when it does cause a lot of problems that won't go away with standard treatments, there are surgeries that can be done to try to help it. Uh, one might think that the, the surgery that needs to be done is to take one vertebrae that slipped forward and pull it back and make it stay, and that is a surgical option, but it doesn't necessarily always have to be done that way. The surgeries involve, to one degree or another, making more room for the nerves, and making more room for the nerves usually means removal of any bone or ligaments or disc material that's pushing on a nerve, so one part of the surgery is what we call decompressive surgery or removing material that's pushing on the nerves. And then another part of the surgery often involves preventing the vertebrae from slipping forward further because particularly once you've removed some of the material back here, it may make it even easier for the vertebrae to slip upon one another. So the second part of the surgery after the decompression or the making room for the nerves, the second part of the surgery is to stick the two vertebrae together uh, one way or another so that they don't keep sliding forward. And the way to do that generally is to make them grow together. So they're not literally stuck together. We make them grow together by what's called a fusion, by putting bone between them and encouraging the vertebrae to grow together through that bone, using the bone as a scaffolding. And one way to help that along is to put screws and rods or plates and screws between the two vertebrae and secure those vertebrae together with hard metal instruments. Uh, the, this material is usually titanium, although other metals could be used, but screws are literally driven into the bones uh, between the two vertebrae that have slipped and then linked together with a plate or a rod, and that's called instrumentation of the, of the spine. The instrumentation is simply there to hold things together while the bones grow together, while the fusion takes place. The instrumentation in and of itself won't be good enough to hold things together forever. The vertebrae will continue to slip if you just put the instruments in. In fact, the instruments, the metal, will break over time if the bones don't grow together. So often, surgery for spondylolisthesis, or one vertebrae slipped forward on another, involves first decompression, making room for the nerves. Second, fusion, putting bone between the two vertebrae to make sure that the vertebrae knit themselves together into one vertebrae or one bone. And then instrumentation, meaning putting in screws and rods or plates to hold the vertebrae together while that fusion is going on. This can be done through many different uh, ways, many different approaches to the spine, and we can talk about those approaches in other episodes. Thank you very much for joining me today. Bye-bye now.